You know my name. That's right. Keith Haney. Cool owner here to us in Tulsa Raceway Park. And man, oh man, what a racer he is. Got to the semifinals of the Sweet 16 a week ago. Where unfortunately, he redlined it. So can Keith Haney go to the number one spot right now, which is a 432 for, for, from Justin Martin. Keith Haney purging the nitrous oxide. Then he'll roll it up in pre stage beams again. Uh, one of the heavy hitters in the RVW goes to the Ducks, Duck X production race at South Georgia. And he said he said he was looking forward to this race. It's been a couple of years since he's been since he's actually competed. <laughs> Tell you that he didn't really have all of it, but he took enough. Keith Haney takes the track record 380 with a 7 198 17. So here's Keith Haney, the track ET record holder 380. 198 miles per hour, and he knows the track is there. He knows this racetrack. But the question. What will Keith Haney do? If the car starts to get loose, will he pedal it? Or will he shut it down? Or will Keith Haney go A to B? And I got to believe that Keith Haney, he doesn't know the meaning of the word, eh, take it easy. That you know what? It's wide open or nothing. But I got to believe he's going for that 70. We've had cars run 70s unofficially in testing here at Tulsa Raceway Park, but never in an official qualifying round. So can Keith Haney do it again? As lots of folks are chiming in on the live feed on uh, YouTube, on YouTube, right, the Motormania TV live feed. So Keith Haney. Pre-staged, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. But now here comes the guy who had the track record until about a little more about a little more two hours ago. Co-owner here at uh, Osage Casino Tulsa Raceway Park, Keith Haney, at a Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 2015. Chevrolet Camaro, 959 cubic inch rear Morrison power plant. He has another identical car just like this that he can run in the Pro Mod category, Pro Nitrous car. Sit the two cars together, they look nearly identical. He backs it up from the burnout. The number two, 379, 194 miles per hour. Now, Keith, just a week ago, down in Sweet 16 at South Georgia Motorsports Park, he got to the semifinals where he lost to Dwayne Mills.
Dwayne on that run went 373-4. Keith went 379-0. Oh. Race qualified right now. Tim Slavens, current number one qualifier, he lost in the second round. The eventual winner, Mark Mickey. Keith Haney, looking to see, can he take back the number one qualifying spot? All he's going to do is pick up two thousandths of a second. And not only does he take number one away, he takes back the track record. Six, not quite for Keith Haney. He'll stay number two. Next up, Keith Haney and Justin Martin. Keith Haney, co-owner here at OCS Casino, Tulsa Raceway Park. Number two qualified, 379. Justin Martin. In the 72 Nova, trying to see if he can pull off the David versus Goliath style upset. So how many fans out there will want to see the new school 2015 Niger Sox on Camaro of Keith Haney win this one? How many fans out there want to see the upset? Want to see the old school Nova take out that high tech, high horsepower Camaro? RVW missing one. Brandon Carter, we're missing you. Brandon Carter missing you. So here we go. Keith Haney, Justin Martin, the winner, gets Mark Mickey round number two. Building the boost for Justin Martin. Martin's in, waiting on Haney. Oh, man, Martin Top man, Keith Haney gets it, 382, 195. But I'll tell you, Keith Haney got tattooed on the starting line, and Martin had him to about 400 feet. So Keith Haney will go to round number two, but will not have lane choice over Mark Mickey. But the question, what does Keith Haney have? Again, yeah, this is his home racetrack, knows this racetrack very well. But remember, he is not, uh, he hasn't been in this race a couple years as this, we need the last call for X275 to the lanes. Final call for X275 to the lanes, please. So here we go. How many fans out there want to see the turbo car of Mark Mickey outrun Keith Haney? Who's supporting the hometown boy, Keith Haney? Who wants to see the Oklahoma outrun Missouri? Oh, man, this, this is close. It's going to be.
So here we go. Are we going to have a burn down? Uh, RPM's coming up, so maybe not. Who will stage first? Mark Mickey's in, waiting on Haney. Haney's in. Oh, here they go. Haney. 383. Keith Haney takes out Mark Mickey and gets his revenge. So here we go, they're getting ready to come around the corner. And here we are on the Crower side of the racetrack he hadn't left the staging lanes yet but uh, again <laughs> they're playing the head games already as now the car is starting to move from the staging lanes Keith Haney Broken Arrow Oklahoma number two qualifier 379 Tim the underdog Slavens Marshfield Missouri number one qualifier the track ET record holder this could be the quickest and fastest side-by-side -side race of the weekend. So I'll ask you one more time. How many fans out there want to see Keith Haney out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, his new school, Camaro, win Radio vs. the World tonight? What about the fans of the 69 Camaro, Tim the Underdog? Oh, man. Pro Charger, no time. Need you back to the lanes, please, as the engines are coming to life. So here, so here we are. Radio versus the world final. Keith Haney and Tim the Underdog Slavens. So here we are. As uh, real quick, I'm bringing Justin Martin, who was in the Radio vs. the World category. So, Justin, uh, you've been out there with these guys. So, tell me, what's it going to take for Keith Haney to stop the underdog, Tim Slavin? Tim is unstoppable in this pass. Man, a few words. Man, a few words. But I'll tell you what, Keith Haney, he's not going to take Tim the underdog lightly. The underdog is just a nickname. If anything, the underdog right now, maybe Keith Haney. So here we go. Get on your feet, Tulsa Raceway Park. This one's going to be a barn burner. Keith Haney left side. Tim Slavin's right side. Radio versus the world final right here, right now. Who will stage first? It's Slavens. Haney's in. Haney left on him. Keith Haney got him 375 to a 378. Keith Haney takes back the track record and wins radial versus the world. But look at that 60 foot time 962 to 60 feet.
And folks, how about a big round of applause? That was one heck of a final. Keith Haney, 375, 197. Tim Slavens, 378, 212. Slavens leaves with the mile per hour record, but Tim, but Keith Haney, your winner, and now the quickest radio versus the world car in the history of Osage Casino, Tulsa Raceway Park, and he gets his redemption.